Welcome to our lecture online. On the previous video, we saw the effect of the special relativity on the time, the clocks, on the satellites, the GPS satellites. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the effect of the general relativity. Now, the special relativity has to do with the fact that the sat satellites move quite quickly. The general theory of relativity has to do with the fact that the Earth's gravitational force is different at the location where the GPS satellites are as compared to the clocks who are on the surface of the Earth. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower the clocks run. And so the time on the Earth will run slower than the time in the SVs. It's kind of the, the opposite because of the, uh, compared to the special relativity uh, theory. So here we're going to calculate the time difference, the time dilation due to the effects of gravity. And so we first need to figure out how much slower the clocks run on the surface of the Earth relative to some point far away in space, away from any, uh, any planets or moons or, or stars. So we go far away into space, then we don't have the general theory or the general effect of the uh, of relativity. Mm, the general relativity effect, I should say it that way. And so on the Earth's surface, we calculate the difference in the time between being out in space and being on the surface of the Earth. And so it's one half times two gm, g again is the gravitational constant, m is the mass of the Earth, c squared, the speed of light squared, and r is the distance from the center of the Earth to the location that we're interested in. So in this case, it would be on the surface of the Earth, so it's 6,378 kilometers, or 6,378,000 meters. When we calculate that, we get a time difference of 6.9486 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds per second. That doesn't seem like a lot, but then if we compare that to a day, we multiply that number by 86,400, we get 60 microseconds per day that the time runs slower on the Earth as opposed to somewhere far away, far away in space. So now we do it a second time, but now we consider what it would be like at the location of the satellites. The satellites are at a distance of 26,572,000 meters away from the center of the Earth, a little bit over 20,000 kilometers from the surface of the Earth. And so we do the calculation again, but now with a different radius. And now we get a time difference of 1.6679 times 10 to the minus 10 seconds per second, or 14.4 microseconds per day slower. Notice that the time dilation due to the general relativity is less where the satellites are than on the Earth. There's a difference. So what we need to do is we need to take the time dilation on the surface of the Earth minus the time dilation on the satellites. That gives us the difference in the time dilation between the satellite and the Earth's surface, which is 45.6 microseconds, which means on the satellites, the time runs 45.6 microseconds per day faster on the Earth. Of course, this is per day. Let me make sure we make a note of that. And so, what that means is that now we need to find the total difference in the time, the time difference caused by the general theory of, of relativity, the time difference caused by the special theory of relativity. We ended up with 7.2 microseconds uh, slower per day. So the time runs 45.6 microseconds per day faster on the satellites compared to the Earth's surface due to the general theory of relativity and 7.2 microseconds per second slow or per day slower due to the special theory of relativity. And of course, I should really go per day, right? That's per day so that we keep it consistent per day like this. And that means that in total, the clocks on the satellite will run 38.4 microseconds per day faster than the clocks on the surface of the Earth. And so that means that every 26 days, the clocks on the satellites get ahead by one millisecond every 26 days. And now, by now, we realize that one millisecond on GPS is a huge amount of time. That means you can travel a thousand feet, or light travels a thousand, no, a million feet in one millisecond. A million feet is a lot of miles. So you could be way off in your GPS estimates if you do not compensate for the time. So, of course, we regularly send new time um, information up to the satellites to make sure that we keep track of this difference as well as all the other differences that occur because of the difference on the satellites versus the difference on the Earth. But for the special and general relativity equations, 
we have to take that into account and therefore that is a significant amount that we need to keep track of and adjust the satellites for on a regular basis and that is how it's done.